to Rayman Revolution, uh, as I like to call it, uh, Rayman Cutscenes. Um, I'm playing Japanese right now. It's the fast version. You're gonna you're gonna see some weird textures, uh, such as Rayman being blue. Um, Glowbox has a slightly different model. Um, yeah. Um, so in the, this run, uh, we're gonna collect all the masks that we need to save the world. It's the main collectible, basically. Um, yeah, and uh, it's gonna be good. Um, I would like to let go of my mic now, yeah, though. Do <laughs> 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 you find some tape, maybe? It it keeps swaying because yeah. of the weight. Um, someone needs to time as well. Uh, oh, in yeah. a bit, in a bit. Uh, uh, let, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say. I'll say. <laughs> Marathon just started. It's, a, it's about ten. It's, it's about. <laughs> okay. Can you hold this for a second? Uh, well, no. No, no. Uh, um, Can you hold this for a second? And time start now. Okay. So first we have to escape from the jail. This is where uh, the original game gets its name, The Great Escape. This is The Great Escape. It's uh, it's literally 11 seconds of sliding. And um, yeah, then another cutscene. Um, so in this category, there are not as many cutscenes as in the any percent. Uh, that's why I love it way more. There's way more like, yeah, way more playability to it, way, way more skill, way more optimization, so, yeah. One it almost works. Um, Don't worry about it. <laughs> so Rayman being blue, uh, it looks kind of weird, there are other models as well. Everyone's slightly different, but uh, this is probably wearing one. That and Lee. Um, so this is the main reason why Japanese is faster. Uh, this dialogue in any percent is really long, uh, especially if you're on PAL. The text scrolls way slower. And uh, we're gonna go to our first skip now. Um, it's not that big, but I hope I get it anyways. Um, so what I did there, I hit the cage, I jumped back, and I jumped forward again. Uh, what happened was I triggered, uh, I went to the place that Rayman would normally get a dialogue, and then I jumped out of it uh, instantly. So what you'll see me doing is uh, walking diagonally, constantly. That's because uh, in Rayman Revolution, uh, for God knows what reason, they decided to uh, make diagonal movement uh, be horizontal movement plus vertical movement, which means it's the square root of two uh, faster because of Pythagoras. So uh, you, you see me constantly going diagonal everywhere and that's where the optimization comes from uh, in this game. And this was actually a really good Woods of Light. Um, so. So what you'll see about the teensies, if you're familiar with uh, Rayman at all, uh, their eyes are kawaii, uh, really big, uh, and they look like weird aliens. Um. So, um, yeah, uh, th this, this cutscene is another factor why um, Japanese is faster. Um, because we have to skip dialogue here as well. Um, at home, um, I can't run Japanese for this long because of my console. It's it doesn't work well with Japanese. Um, that's why we actually have a chance of getting a world record, and uh, we're certainly on pace for that at the moment. So uh, yeah. Um, once we're out of the Woods of Light, yeah, the, the cutscenes are gonna be less bad. <laughs> but that's, I guess, the, the worst part about the run is just watching the same cutscenes. 
but it does give you a lot of time to explain some stuff. So, um, the rest of the run is going to consist of uh, wrong warps, super jumps, um, and overall uh, out of bounds fun, uh, which is not at all the case in uh, Rayman 2, The Great Escape. So you can, um, yeah, you can, you could say they kind of messed up with this, uh, with this port. Even though, um, personally, I think it's way more fun to play because it's way faster. Um, so that load was fine. Um, sometimes Japanese has problems with loads, and it looks as if it's just fine. So. Nothing to worry about. So uh, first, we're gonna have a swimming lesson because um, swimming is hard. Um, but um, we are not gonna just go uh, onto shore after our swimming lesson. No, we're gonna do this and go through the wall and swim through the overworld because we need to hit a certain trigger of a level we can't reach yet with normal by normal means, uh, which is the Bayou. Now in this um, in this game, uh, the villain Razorbeard has a couple of cutscenes um, play uh, in front of certain levels, and uh, this is the first one. Um, though if I use this glitch, what what I just did there was I s s said I wanted to save. I have a full memory card. It uh, tells me that I don't have space. Then I say, well, then don't save at all. Um, then it says the game has not been saved, but it asks me again if I want to save. What happens is it reset the level for some reason. And because there are multiple uh, cutscenes on this map of Razorbeard, uh, it loads the second one because it's things that were for the second time on the map. And uh, thus, after the cutscene, it sends me to the level which usually comes after that cutscene, which is uh, in the last overworld, and therefore we skip the first overworld, the second overworld, we skip everything. Um, and any percent is really useful because um, that's why we can beat the game in uh, about 13 minutes. Um, but in all masks, it um, allows us to do all the mask levels in uh, any order we want. So um, for us, this means we are going to do the third mask first. Um, because we get some power-ups from that, which um, you would normally have to get in different levels. So. There's some overworld navigation. So what you saw me do there was I went into the precipice and then I went back immediately and it just sent me to the overworld that's connected to the precipice. Um, we're gonna do one of the prettiest skips out there now. Um, we call it Biddy Tank Skip. We skip over a, an arena. Um, with a boss in it, called Boss BD Tank, and um, yeah, we're gonna try and uh, jump over it in one leap. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna save cancel again, uh, but this time we do some different stuff, and uh, yeah. Okay. So I s I'm saving while I'm playing, and because jump and uh, the button for confirm is are the same button, we fly all the way up, and uh, we can just hover to wherever we want, really. And in this case, that's over the Bidditank tank arena. So what happens is um, what happens is we kind of um, jump. It saves, and the speed you get uh, for the next frame gets extended over all the frames that it saves, and that's why it gives you that enormous jump. So you're not supposed to jump across that gap, but because of diagonal uh, jumping, you go way further as well. So You can reach places they didn't really think about, basically. Right. <laughs> 
Yo Nexus. Yo Pink. I suddenly realized that I can read chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Did anyone post it in uh, the Discord yet? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yo, Pixel. Yo, Alex. Shout outs to the Rayman Discord. It's a really, really fun uh, community. Um, it's uh, it's also pretty bad, but um, <laughs> but it's uh, it's really good at the same time. So this is Lee the fairy. Um, as you can see, she doesn't look too healthy. Um, she maybe needs to eat a burger. Look at her nose. Look at the. She looks like she had plastic surgery and it just didn't go right. Like her nose is like. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So. Um, So here we get the power to hover, um, but for some reason it gives us the power to swing on purple lums as well, which we really need, otherwise we had to do the fairy glade first, and that takes just like 10 minutes or something. So I'm really <laughs> glad that we found this. Um, and because of this and other things, um, the run gets really fast. Um, so last time, uh, well, two times ago, I guess, I also ran this on BSG for the first time on console back then. Um, but since then, uh, there have been uh, huge developments. Actually, like a week after the run, I think, um, we found some really groundbreaking breaking stuff, which saves about 10 minutes, which is a lot in, um, in, in like in an hour like um, so the loading problem seems to be with my console like boo it was um, it was working fine with Rico so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to buy a new console again uh, okay so this is one of the hardest gaps in the game I passed it uh, I passed it pretty easily but that gap is um, Basically, it's already a pretty tight gap in the original, but because in Revolution every w everything has to be detailed and stuff, they added extra thorns. But if you hit those, you die as well. So it's really hard to get through. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that weights the thing down so much. Better. So first, uh, we have uh, we have a big kind of auto scrollery part. It's not really an auto scroller. You can go slower. You can go faster. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible. Normally, it's the same time every time, but sometimes you have to correct yourself, and it goes a little bit worse. You can see everywhere is like lag, and that's because this game is very uh, long, so it has to, yeah, it has to render a lot at the same time. Um, especially with all the thorns and stuff. And uh, keep in mind that this is one of the first real PS2 games. Um, this was, I think, released in 2000, so it's it's pretty it's pretty young for the like it's pretty old for the PS2, um, which makes it kind of un unoptimized in parts. Like. So now we're gonna go to our first boss. Normally, this is I think the second boss or something. Um, okay. Second depends on what you count as as a boss. Um, and uh, he's called Fouch, or Fooch, I, I call him Fouch. He's uh, scary and he punches you down. And he, uh, f for some reason, he makes it so you can't hover over lava anymore. Um, and we're going to try to do something um, that we call Fouch Skip. And uh, what do you know, you, we tried to skip Fouch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
And it's, I, I think it's pretty cool looking skip. I know some people in the chat uh, think it's really cool. Um, it was really hard before. It's it's doable on N64 as well, but it's really hard, uh, and that's why I think it's so it looks so cool in this version. So normally you have to hit those stalactites on his uh, dumb head, but now um, we're not gonna do that because it's a waste of time, really. Um, I'm gonna try to bounce on this though. Go up. No, what the hell? Ah, oh, that's fucking that's really sad. The second that's the second time I missed it on BSG. <laughs> I like I never miss it. It's ridiculous. Um Should I do it again? Should I try again? It's really easy. Then go for it, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't like your memes, we memes, guys. Let it be known. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Whoop! Okay. He, he can still. He, he can. He can actually still chase you. Um, because if you get, if you get behind Fouch, he just charges you like a madman. Uh, so, uh, if you do that, if you don't do that fast enough, then um, he, he's gonna wreck you, uh, basically. And that's why you have to walk a specific route. Uh, I'm gonna make a tutorial, I, I'm making a tutorial on this, uh, on this category, by the way, and um, I explain all the details slightly better in, in that video than in this video. So... Um, So this is the third mask normally, but it's our four, first mask. There's gonna be four of these cutscenes. Two are not that long and two are pretty long. Okay, so we're now gonna have to skip two teensies, which is really, really something else. Um, the first one is very doable. You just hold A when coming out of the portal. The portal kind of launches you and uh, the team he doesn't see you, so he doesn't talk to you. Uh, the second one is uh, he has he's more sneaky. He uh, he turns around and he <laughs> he wa really wants to talk to me. Uh, and the only way I'll, I'll avoid that is to get a frame perfect jump. So let's uh, let's hope um, we get that. Okay, come on. Let's get it. Fuck. Okay, well. It's, it's not too bad on Japanese, really. It's n it's not that long of a text on Japanese, but on PAL, this is uh, like a 12 second time loss, and it's it's just like, yeah. In my current PB, I did get it, and that makes it very hard to run against. Uh, you saw baby Globox in the corner, maybe there. Um, he also wants to talk to you. Basically, the most dangerous things in the in this game aren't uh, like I don't know spikes or lava or deadly water. No, it's it's NPCs trying to talk to you. Uh, yeah. So the next level is what I call uh, the Sanctuary of Dumb Robots. Um, they are really dumb. They shoot at each other like constantly, but they also try to shoot me. Uh, first, we're gonna double save cancel. Uh, what that does, it skips the cutscene at the start. Um, and uh, if you double save cancel, the game thinks you game over twice. So what that does is it uh, gives you full health because it thinks, ah, you, you poor thing, you can't get the level, but in reality, we just pressed a couple of buttons. Um, so you see a lot of robots here. I'm trying to dodge all of them, um, but it's not always uh, as easy. Ooh, that was really scary. <laughs> okay, um, so first, this this is uh, basically the dumbest level. Um, because uh, of certain things that are wrong with Rayman 2. Targeting isn't the best in this uh, game. Um, if, you, if you've played this seriously, then 
you know this. Um, and this level is all about carrying stuff and targeting, so it's yeah, it's a shit fest. Um, so I have to carry these orbs uh, towards little pyramids where I have to throw them up. I don't know, uh, like like that thing there. I got it. Um, and now I have to carry this barrel uh, along these pirates, and it's pretty scary because it can actually target the pyramid there, uh, which is really dumb. It looks really dumb when it happens, and I get really angry when it happens. Um, so especially when you carry the stuff, you can really see the difference between the diagonal movement and the, and the normal movement. Just get this, and uh, yeah, the door opens. This is actually what what's pretty funny. Like this version is the way, like it's the most broken version, basically, right? Um, but this is the only version where you can't skip that door, which is uh, really sad. And I've really, really tried to look for it, hours, hours, and hours, but yeah. Um, next up is a fun sliding se section that hopefully I won't fuck up. Um, what's good about this uh, version um, is that they have improved the sliding physics, so now it's not total crap. Um, it's kind of crap though. Um, basically, usually you wouldn't have control over your brakes at all. Um, not because brakes weren't a feature, but because they programmed it w n not very well. Uh, that was a good slide. Um, so this is our second boss, or our first boss, uh, Axel. Uh, I'm known for fucking this boss up without reason. Um, so <laughs> beware of, about that. Um, but it's a really easy boss, really. So it should go, yeah, it should go. Um... You can skip it, uh, as the chat is saying, um, though it's it's ridiculous, and you see how short this boss really is, so it uh, it's not worth it, unless you're uh, Darnok, and you play Rayman 2 for god knows what a reason, um, and you play Treasure Percent. So... We're gonna get our uh, first or our second mask. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of confusing, uh, confusing, but yeah. Uh, as the chat is saying, yes, this game is made by interns. We're pretty sure about it. it we're it, this can't be uh, professionals. Um, smiles all around on this mask. So, um, in uh, th this version of the game, the the PS2 version, uh, like Japanese is the fastest uh, on the PS2, but you could also buy it on the PSN, uh, which is way faster in loads, but not as fast in text. So I think it's slightly faster, um, as, oh, at least uh, for any percent. Uh, so, but I prefer uh, for now running on the PS2. So. Wait, oh yeah, he's talking about that there are three masks and stuff. It's, um, yeah, Pollocus, uh, which is that weird leprechaun, is, is ba he's basically kind of god, um, but he has a different color pants in this version, just so you know, this, so that he looks even more like a leprechaun, yeah. And on to the next. So, 
there's a character in Rayman. He's a big muscular dude. He's called uh, Clark. He is supposed to basically wreck pirates and stuff. And uh, he's basically your buddy. But we're not going to see him, hopefully. Uh, only his back, uh, if I do this correctly. Um, if I don't, we're going to see some more of him. Um, but basically, we have to jump over a trigger here. Which we used to not have to do, but now we do because we skip a certain level. Um, okay, so that was uh, that was <laughs> that was one uh, that was one uh, skip, and now we're gonna do Clark skip number two because he really, really wants to talk to uh, to me for some reason. Like I have time for that. Um, so there you see him. He looks like he's from Jersey Shore or something. Um, Especially on the on the Japanese version, he's like orange with uh, green. But yeah, we're um, we're gonna skip him. Uh, normally, he has to destroy a door for us, uh, this door, which leads to the next overworld. So you'd think it's pretty important, but we're gonna just do this basically. Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're we're gonna not gonna do that. We're gonna do fuck. <laughs> it, it still doesn't lose time, by the way, so it's... Uh, okay, I have to do this correctly now. God! Okay, okay. It's it's not that hard. Um, maybe? <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, 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 okay. What? What? I wanted, I wanted to go back. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I I only had uh, one hour of sleep tonight, so uh, so there we go. It's a uh, it's a very well designed ledge. It's actually pre it's pretty hard, but normally uh, at home this uh, works. Uh. Yeah, frozen. What the, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Different TV, pressure, <laughs> lag, guys, 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 it's everything besides me. So, uh, we're gonna go to our third, uh, or second sanctuary, um, which is the Sanctuary of Stone and Fire. You might think, but we already did that. No, that's the Lava Sanctuary, that's completely different. Don't even think it's the same. Um... So we're gonna do another uh, PMS jump, playable menu state jump. Um, first we're gonna double save cancel so that we have full health. And after that we're gonna do an actual hard skip on NTSC. It's not hard on, uh, on PAL, but it can be really inconsistent on, um, on the NTSC. So, I'm gonna turn around here. We are really, really high up at the moment, um, like you wouldn't believe. Look at how high up we are. This is, and I got it. Don't worry, don't worry. It like the big time losses have not yet happened. It's not world record though, but whatever. Yo, Rip Shark. So this skip. Um, no, normally, really easy, even on emulator, really easy, but for some reason on, on the NTSC, on console, it's uh, it's a bitch. So, let's try it. Ah, go through you. This is what I mean. Normally, it would have gone through already like 10 times there. But, um... It's uh, it's not as easy uh, with uh, woo woo. Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> second try is fine. Like second try is great for uh, for console uh, NTSCJ. Oh, where am I? Okay. Can I see chat? Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so next level is uh, is actually it, it has nothing to do with skips. It's just really hard for some reason. It, this is not a hard game usually, but it's um, it's hard for a reason. So we're on this plum, uh, bouncing down a river of lava. I don't know. Um, I didn't think of it, but um, what you have to do is propel yourself with your shots. And normally you would have some upgrades by now to allow you to get um, rate of fire um, which ma what makes it way easier to control basically uh, as you saw my plum is gone and that's why I'm going slow now you can see that we have that we still have the uh, hover over lava power up um, which actually comes in handy uh, later in this level uh, we can use it to go out of bounds even though that's not that useful in this uh, level um, we can do it, which is always nice. So we have to die here and then... Yeah. This part is uh, surprisingly not that hard. You just kind of bounce. It's... Um hard to do well but at least I'm ahead of uh, last run <laughs> basically this level is the longest Probably the longest segment of uh, the thing, of the of the game, that or Iron Mountains. But this um, this level is really weirdly made. Um, like every part of the level is there. Um, uh, we can go out of bounds, so you would think that we could just go anywhere. But it doesn't load in important things like loading triggers, and uh, it's yeah, it's it's kind of. Uh, it's kind of sad because otherwise we wouldn't have to carry this orb everywhere. Uh, I really dislike this orb. If we didn't have to carry this, the run would be like three minutes faster, at least, maybe five. It's it's really dumb. Um, Oh, that was pretty fast that I already killed one there. I uh, really dislike this, these flies. They make me drop my uh, orb. The TV is doing some weird, like, coloring. I don't know if that shows up on the capture, but... Okay. Like, uh, there's like a red shade to everything. I don't know. It doesn't show up, I guess. But you guys can see it, right? Like the red uh, shadow. Yeah. So this is one of the most scripted uh, plums in the game for some reason. I don't know why they put so much effort into this section. Uh, it was literally only that. That was it. But, um, yeah, a lot of scripts attached to it. Um. So now we have to do uh, another fun slide. Let's hope I don't fall off or anything. But first, we have to watch a cutscene. It's a really important one. We see that, that this goes up and then the shot pans for no apparent reason. And it goes on for f way too fucking long. This is what I mean. So, th this is how long it is. So, you go up. And there's another loading trigger. So, you would think it's another map, but it's not. It's, um... It just loads in some... Some, uh... I don't know. Some uh, items, some lums, I guess. It, it loads that in. And loading triggers. That's basically it. So normally you would have to get on the plum there, but 
going like this is as fast, if not faster. It's it's probably faster, and it's way easier as well. So it's faster and easier, and it looks better. It's it's the best kind of skips. So jumping while um, while sliding uh, is the fastest, but it's also really. It's really scary, basically, because you have way less control of where you're going to go. And that's that part. And now we're back in this room, but it didn't need a loading screen. So, so normally we would be able to get here instantly as well, but it wouldn't show up with, um, with the mask. It only would show up with a portal, which is weird. It's like as if we beat the game or beat the level already, then it shows up with a small spiraling uh, portal. So, this was already a third mask, we only have to get one mask uh, anymore. And normally, uh, what I did last time as well on BSG, um, we had to fight a whole bunch of pirates uh, space invader style. Um, but we don't have to do that anymore. We, um, we have found a way, a really, really weird way, and we don't know why it works, but it works. So. Be grateful for it because the fight was really dumb. It skips it. Um, it does trigger it, but it doesn't lock you in place uh, like Space Invaders. So you can just go to the end trigger. And uh, once again, we're going to use our hover uh, that we got in the first level that we did. Um, chat is saying that it looks very dark for them. <laughs> That's, yeah, okay. Is that the capture? or Because it looks... Okay. Okay, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, black is black, but that's kind of obvious. Okay, so um, <laughs> normally you would get hover and you would get to go to the skull cave, uh, to the tomb of the ancients, which is in the skull cave. Um, this is called the skull cave. Maybe you, you know why. Um, but they forgot to do something, make it solid everywhere. So, yeah, you get kind of a situation where uh, you can go out of bounds pretty easily. And uh, we, you saw maybe the cutscene bars like tightening. Basically, we're in a cutscene right now. We have to wait. This is a quality cutscene, as you can see. Um, Clark, uh, you saw Clark running away there, and me after him because. We don't have time for that. And now we're gonna do a PMS jump. That's This is actually the hardest probably. Um, well, at least I think it's the hardest um, because I don't know, it, you can't see shit basically, so. Uh, basically normally Clark would bash open this door but we haven't done any levels that <laughs> warrant that so we have to jump over and we're not gonna jump over a little bit we're gonna jump over way too high because this is console uh, as you can see we're really high up um, and we will have to try to get into the door but it's pretty hard I got it yeah I got it nice <laughs> What 
<laughs> you, you of all, sh- you of all people should know what happens. Yeah. I did well. Don't worry. I don't think this can world record still, but like. I, I really have no clue how much uh, Japanese affects all the dialogue, so... Nah, but Fouch skip, mi- missing Fouch skip, and then... Um, losing the plum probably, probably is too much. So this is, uh, this is a really bad pirate. He is really angry at me, always. He shoots so many fucking rockets. I'm so... Like it's so hard to dodge. That's why that's why I double save cancelled beforehand. Also, that pirate is also really angry at me. It's uh this is a really angry level for everyone. Also my favorite skip, this one saves one second approximately, but it's pretty and it's dumb. <laughs> they just forgot to patch in a wall and you just go through. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. So if you, um... If you, uh, double save cancel before this level, um... Like, literally in the save screen before this, uh... The level will be glitched. There are some levels that have this, uh... You can't hit the switches in the first room and you... And the end trigger isn't on the balloon, so... You just land on the balloon and that's it, basically. You're you're done. There's no cutscene that starts or anything. Like this. Now the most important cutscene of all, guys. Guys, this is look at this. This is amazing. This is the smallest map in Rayman. Because it's little, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I get one second of play. I could jump, <laughs> nice. and that's it. Yeah. It's beautiful. I like and now I, I'm gonna double save cancel again, to skip a cutscene and to get full health, uh, which is needed for the boss at the end of this stage. So basically, because we're doing uh, all masks, we get to see a lot of bosses. Which, some bosses are fine, and some are not. This is uh, one of those that are not that okay. Okay, that was weird. Okay, let's uh, hope I, I don't get hit. Oh, that was really fast, actually. I, I've never had it that fast. Uh, favorite part coming up. Hope I don't fuck it up. I didn't fuck it up. This is really, I think it's a really cool part because it's really fast. Normally you have to do all sorts of things with the switches, but the physics are so fun with that shell, it's, uh, it's great. So, we're gonna have to um, fight someone now, and it's, and it's, he, he's called Grolem13. I don't know what happened to Grolem1 to 12. Probably someone beat them all or something. Uh, I don't know why they keep st- still making Grolems, but <laughs> yeah, he throws wind at me. He's really, really scary. At least he doesn't talk to me. Intimidation <laughs> 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 alone. Even though he looks the same as the other two. In the American version, he has a smiley face. <laughs> um, so what we have to do, get this, you hit clouds back at him. And then you, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Wow, Linky. So it's a miracle that you don't get typed out. <laughs> Just kidding. So you have to dodge electricity. You have to dodge stuff. It's kind of RNG. It's not really 
hard most of the time. Sometimes you'll miss a cloud because it's just impossible to, to hit. Like, It's actually possible to jump towards that, um, towards that, okay, that's an example of a glitch cloud that you just hit and it just doesn't work. Like, th that's Rayman Revolution, like in Rayman 2 you don't really have that, but something really just doesn't work of the gameplay, like, it's, it's a shame, really. So this is another level you can't, um, double save cancel for because the camera will be so broken, you can literally go infinitely far up and you can do all kinds of weird shit. Um. Also, um, the stream appears to be uh, not that dark at the moment, it seems to be super bright. Yeah. That, that's that, that's the that's the same thing uh, with my capture card. Uh, like dark spots are really dark, and spots like these are like really really like. I don't know why, um, if you're weak to electricity, that you go up and sit at the clouds, but whatever, like, it's his choice. I actually got hit by him in that thing, that's like, really hard to do actually, because his hitbox when he charges you is really small, for some reason. <coughs> Okay, I got him. Yay! So there's a sound glitch now. The helicopter sound keeps playing, even though you can clearly see uh, Rayman walking in a bit. Wait, it doesn't. It didn't happen this time. That's the first time it ha has happened. It, it didn't happen in like a year or something. I don't know. <laughs> so now we're going to watch uh, Polycus do some magic with his uh, polygonal arms. Look look at that. He has like one polygon for his entire forearm. This is basically why Rayman is limbless because it looks way better. <laughs> it just This cutscene is also way shorter on Japanese, I suppose. So we might actually save, still save some time. I don't think it's uh, possible to world record though. Uh, world record is 52.05 by yours truly. And that's on pal. Okay, so this happens when you get masks and then you get teleported to the overworld. What nor that that normally happens as well, but this time it's fancy, so it takes a long time. That wow, Pixel, Pixel, you can't, <laughs> Pixel, Pixel, you can't. Uh, shout outs to the Me Master uh, Pixel or PXPR. Um, don't come near him. Yeah. So, now all we have to do uh, is uh, fight our boss. Um, so, normally you would have to do all the levels in the last overworld uh, to get to the last, um, to the last boss. But they forgot to remove the trigger when you when you are not supposed to get in there. So we can just super jump in there. And I really, really hope that I get it first try because this run uh, has not been the greatest. Come on. 
Okay. I have to, I have to kind of count. So, people, please be quiet. Uh, I'm not satisfied with this. Okay. Yeah, I got it, got it. So basically, that's the main part of the run gone. We just have to beat the boss. I'm uh, I'm not that good at the boss, really. I'm I'm good at the second phase, but the first phase is glitched kind of for me. So. I don't actually know what kind of time this will be. Probably uh, 55. Yeah, I know, but I don't know what kind of time it will be. So I think a 55 or something. Sounds right. Uh, world record is no longer possible. If it were possible, I would be more hype right now. But yeah. Well, well, that and and it would mean that we could skip another. <laughs> more cutscene skips. Yeah. But it can be really annoying as streamer just doing this, but I guess I, I'll I'll not do that. Okay. First phase, hit bombs back at the robot, at the goofy robot. Stay at the edge to uh, skip a cycle. Normally he jumps towards you, but he thinks it's too scary when you're close to the, to the edge. So that's good. The, uh, um... I somehow make him skip a cycle? No. No quick cycle. That's that's not. I got him. I got him. Okay. Let's do fun stuff. Well. Okay. That looked weird. So now it's a cutscene and the last phase. We get we get to see some more of uh, Derpley. Because we needed that in our lives. Look at her. <laughs> it, it looks so dumb. Like, she looks so different in uh, the European versions. She looks like she's legitimately on crack. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I can totally do magic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the Raymond Discord is strong on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah we need FC. <laughs> okay, so um. RNG is coming up, believe it or not. It's gonna, um, it's gonna basically save seven seconds if it's good. If it's bad, well, whatever. It's not gonna be, yeah. And now it's literally me versus a robot inside of a robot in lava. Inside a robot ship, even. Uh, very... No good RNG. Rip, rip the run. That 
Yeah, guys, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I got bad RNG. I couldn't get world record. That was, yeah, it was impossible. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, you have to shoot him down basically. Um, but what, what you can do is go up here, uh, and you'll probably think, "Don't crash! Don't crash!" But I won't. I will teleport to the secret section of the of the level. Um, which basically uh, has a little power up, which we really need at the moment. It's uh, it's infinite shots, which makes this boss really well, really quick. Um, the time is coming in a bit. Um, I'll, I'll I'll say when it comes. Um, Time is now. 54.31. That's fine, honestly. That's fine. And uh, the villain escapes, so where is uh, Rayman 4, guys? <laughs> well, it happened. <laughs> no, uh, no, Rayman 3 is the best game, so. Ship explodes. By the way, that ship we, where we were just standing on that was the crow's nest. It's a fuck. It's a huge ass ship. It's ridiculous. And uh, now we get to see Raymond's funeral. Look, th there we have Lee sitting on a tree, probably stoned out of her mind. Um, the rest is just mourning the loss of Raymond. We didn't even see Glowbox in the run. Um, but yeah, all they have left is a shoe. Rip. Oh, oh, <gasps> guys, guys, it's magical. It's moving. <gasps> what? 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 What is that? What's that? <gasps> oh, what? What is that? Ah, it's Japanese weeb Rayman. Ah, just yeah, just a foot, and it got attached. It's pretty easy if you're Rayman. So yeah, that's the game basically. Um, Lee finally stood up. This is the first time she even stands in the game. Normally she's just. In a Buddha position. And the rest is um, credits. We can we can look at our stats, but it's all in Japanese, so I don't really know <laughs> what is going on. But <laughs> well, we see uh, a nice man playing. Um, so fast. Also, the names of some of these people. Um, Yoda, Calamity. Where are all the Wii characters? Yeah. The moon runes, you'll see them at the end. Um, Geron Bartman, you have to, there, there's one called like sex or something, it's really weird. I guess it's French. Mike.